Hey guys, Psychic here, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Keystrokes in 2022. And the reason I'm making another upload on Keystrokes is because this one is actually better um, prior to my other video. I do want to give credit to um, this person here. Uh, link to his channel is in the description because he actually made the Keystrokes. Um, and I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to do it. Um, it's not going to go fully in-depth in-depth, like, um, you need to have Forge downloaded and Java, um, if you don't have those already downloaded, uh, you need to do that, so I would recommend looking up videos on how to get Java or how to get Forge, um, but pretty much once you have those, um, you should be set to go. Um, there will be a link to this in the description as well, um, and you're going to want to click this and you're going to want to download it. I already have it downloaded, but after it's done downloading, what you want to do is drag here. I'll download it for you guys right now. So we're going to save it to desktop. Um, so that's my OBS right there. But right here, it's going to reload in just a second because it just downloaded. Here it is. So that is basically this right now, but it's not updated, whatever. Essentially, what you want to do we're going to drag it to desktop, even though it's literally the exact same thing. Just to show you guys. But anyway, essentially, it doesn't matter if you have it on desktop or not. As long as you have a folder open with it, you're good to go. Um, and then what you want to do is open Minecraft um, in your Minecraft launcher. I don't know how to do this if you don't have Minecraft launcher, but pretty much, as long as you're in the Minecraft files, which, if you don't know how to do that, I think it's percent app data, percent Minecraft, something like that. But essentially here we are here so this is the minecraft launcher and this is pretty much for me the easiest way to get to here so once you have forge downloaded like i said and installed all you want to do is go to mods and i already have it in here but all you want to do is just drag it right into here so that's all you want to do there so what we're going to do now is we're going to start up forge um yeah we're going to start up forge aka um version 1.8.9 this is for version 1.8.9 so for those who are on 1.16 i'm sorry but re realistically if you're playing like bed wars or sky wars you should be using 1.8.9 anyway this is basically a client that not a lot of people use but the reason it's mainly just used for its keystrokes so as you can see it is technically kind of like a client um but i have a texture pack on as well that's why this looks like this but as here you should have this now it will probably for you guys it will start downloading this thing called essential which yes you do need that to run the keystrokes mod um keystrokes mod is currently enabled so we're just going to go on hypixel and i'm going to show you guys i already have it set up here and for you guys it's just going to be wasd in white and how you're going to set that up is literally what you want to do is go in chat type in slash keystrokes and right here it will put everything so you can turn like fps on and off currently i have it off um just so there's not as much on the screen i guess um you can have different things like key background like you can pretty much do everything i have chroma on so if i turn that off it's just plain white and you can like change the colors like right here if you want so like you can do that do that and like do that all of these different things so when you press something too it's gonna be like you can do that as well but I'm going to turn Chroma on because it looks really clean and nice. And you can do all these other things. Um, not sure what literal keys is. To be honest with you guys, you can have arrow keys where it shows the arrow keys. Um, and you can add custom keys. So if you wanted to add a key, uh, you could make this. You could drag it like anywhere. Um, and you can do a bunch of different things with it. So uh, you can change the key. And basically... Watch what happens if I press L. Boom, L. So that's what it is for now. Um, you can change the type of what you want it. So you can make it like a spacebar type thing, or you could make it like long, or you can do like that, kind of like W, A, S, and D. Uh, if you had like E or Q up here, you could do that. Basically, I'm going to delete it now, but essentially, that's what you can do. Pretty cool. Very, very simple. I have mine on 62 to make it uh, somewhat this big. Um, 60 looks pretty nice i think i'm going to keep it on that actually it's not much of a difference but 
You can do all these different things. You can have a CPS counter, or you can keep um, just for the button. So if I turn this off, we have the normal CPS, and if I turn this on, we have the CPS for both right and left, and I like that. Um, and you can also turn them off entirely for some reason. And I'm AFK because I'm trying to mess with the settings. Anyway, essentially, that's pretty much all to go over. And it is that simple. Very, very simple. Really simple. This is probably the simplest way. And this is why I want to re-upload. Because this, these are much better. This, I know, is 100% legit. This one, I know, like, is 100% like legit. No viruses, nothing. Nothing should be wrong. This is a jar file. Um, so yeah, and it, yeah, as you can see, it's basically like a Minecraft client. Um, this is all I got for you, though. If you guys want to see other things, I guess, maybe some other tutorials, um, leave a comment down below telling me what to do for a tutorial. And if you guys end up finding this video helpful, um, leave a like and subscribe. Subscribing would be greatly appreciated, but I don't normally do these types of videos, so you really don't have to subscribe. Um... You know, unless you, I guess, want to see my content. But essentially, this, you, it, leaving a like would be appreciated so I can help other people out. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all I've got for this tutorial. Um, very, very simple. I was glad that I found this instead of the other one because I know the other one was just not great. And if you're wondering why I have six of these available, that that's why. I am a literal non. But anyway... Yeah, if you guys found the video helpful, leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing uh, if you guys just want to enjoy my content, I guess. And yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.